All right, guys, I want to welcome you to the first episode of The Taste Tester. Um, this wasn't going to plan on being my first episode, but it uh, is. thought it was a good opportunity to start it now. Uh, <clears throat> I'm actually shooting this with a GoPro instead of my normal camera because I don't know where I put the fucking battery. So I wanted to get some more videos out to you guys. So uh, so basically what we're going to do is, you know, obviously The Taste Tester, you can pretty much figure out what that's going to entail in these videos is me taste testing different things, be it, you know, cereals or chips or food from fast food places, whatever, whatever. Um, so for the inaugural episode of the Taste Tester, we are going to try something that just came out today nationwide. Um, so you something you can go out and try anywhere as long as you have a uh, little Cedars in your town. Um, it is the bacon wrapped crust pizza. I don't know if that's the exact name of it, actual name of it or not, but um, we're going to get a quick look of the pizza, which is kind of nice with the GoPro because I can actually pick up the camera and, and move it around and kind of show you stuff. So, uh, so there's the pizza there. Um, I have already tasted some, so this won't be my first taste of it, but because uh, I actually ordered two of these. Um, but there it is. You can kind of see the the bacon around the crust. Um, this one looks... I don't know if this is more cooked or less cooked than my other one. Uh, this is what the piece I'm going to eat actually looks like here. Um, just kind of give you a little bit better idea what it looks like. This one's actually... It looks like it's more cooked. Still kind of tastes kind of doughy a little bit, but... Um, but it... Uh, yeah, it's basically got pepperoni and little chunks of bacon on it. You can actually pretty much see the chunks of bacon there. Um, it is very greasy, of course, because uh, bacon's greasy, pizzas are greasy in general anyways. So, <clears throat> it is 12 bucks at Little Caesars. Um, it has a reported, I want to say, 470 calories per slice. So, you're pretty much getting about more than a full full day's worth of calories if you eat the whole pizza in one day, which I am, I might possibly do. I don't know. Um, but this is the deep, dip, deep, deep dish. This, that's the only way it's, it comes. So, anyways, we are going to give it a try here. I'll give you my opinion. Um, yeah, and I said, as, as I said, it is pretty greasy. Um, it does have a little bit of crust to it. Well, I guess just the bottom is the crust. Um... But bacon is awesome. Most people love bacon. Um, it's pretty good. As you can kind of see, maybe, that the dough is a little, a little doughy, I guess you'd say. Um, but it... When I looked at it, it looked like it was pretty cooked, but you can never really tell how cooked it is because if the dough is pretty doughy, then you, know, you don't want it too cooked, but you don't want it undercooked either. I would say very good. Um, price a little high, but bacon's not cheap either, so it's understandable that it's twelve bucks. Um, but it is, yeah, very, very greasy. Like I said, um, it's yeah. I, I think the only way it comes is pretty much pepperoni with you know bacon bits on top of it. So. Um, yeah, yeah, the only way they could really do this is with a deep, deep crust, deep, deep crust, so, um, overall, I would say it's a pretty good pizza, um, I think it's better than the uh, the parental crust one. That wasn't a bad pizza. Kind of like the cheese sauce to it. 
But then once you got to the pretzel crust, it was like kind of kind of too salty. So it's like you almost would want to make sure you have a couple pieces of or a couple bites of the pizza left before you got to that because then it's like ugh, too salty. So, but overall that wasn't a bad pizza, but I would say this is a a better pizza. Um and little, you know, I was reading somewhere that Little Caesars, until they came out with that pretzel crust pizza, that it had been years and years and years and years and years since they had introduced any new pizzas. And it's probably, and they just opened one up where I live. Probably hasn't even been a year, so I ha I haven't, I hadn't had, uh, ooh, excuse me, um, had Little Caesars in ever. So I had so for for twenty three years I had never had it, so because I think I had been around Little Caesars because there's some Little Caesars in uh, Kmart's and stuff like that, but there were really never any around. And this is what I where I live now. There's no little there's no Kmart's so, um, and I want to say I think the one Kmart that I would normally go to, um, does it isn't even there anymore. But it's been so long since I've been up there I don't even know what's what but Kmart's are kind of falling off lately I guess not even lately they've been kind of falling off for a while but uh, anyways to give this a score I'm gonna have my rating scale of one one out of ten. I would give this probably uh kind of mixed between a seven and an eight. I'd probably say I'd give this a seven. Not too bad. You know, you don't want a ton of bacon on there, but you know, when you when you're hyping it up as a bacon crust pizza. You, wow, well, yeah, you should put lots of bacon on there. It's bacon crust. They never really said it, oh, there's going to be bacon on Well, they kind of did say there's bacon on top of it, but, um, you know, I'd, yeah, I'd almost give it a 7.5. I don't even know if I'm going to have that as a, as a grading scale, but 7.5, right in the middle. Pretty good. You know, potentially could be better, but it, it, it isn't bad either, so. So if you're a fan of bacon, definitely give this a try. Because bacon's fucking awesome and uh, yeah. So stay tuned for more episodes of the taste test are coming soon. Probably going to be more than likely shooting on my GoPro until I find my fucking camera battery. Um, but it does make it a lot easier to move the camera around to show stuff if I need to. Um, so yeah, I got a lot more stuff planned. I was going to do other episodes before this one, but I'm like, hey, you know what? Fuck it. Might as well do it now. Um, for something that's new that's coming out today. So I will upload this today, the 22-23, February 23rd, 2015. So... Um, it's only around for a limited time until, I don't know if they really announced an, an end date, but sometime in April. Maybe if it sells well enough, it'll stick around for longer. Um, but definitely, wor definitely worth a try if you like bacon. Um, you know, everything is worth a try at least once, so. Definitely, if you, yeah, as I said already many times, if you're a fan of bacon, go out and give this a try. Um, stay tuned for more episodes of The Taste Tester. And like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be shooting my uh, Black Friday pickups part two of my movies. I, I've been trying to find my fucking camera battery and I just haven't been able to. So I'm just going to start shooting stuff on this until I find my battery. So that's why I haven't released part two yet of my uh, Black Friday video. So expect that very soon. Um, I 
and I will be doing another uh, game pickups video as well. Um, because I picked up a shit ton of games in the last two months. So I would say I probably picked up at least a good close to 50 games. So, um, so expect that very soon as well. Um, yeah, more taste tester videos, more, more pickup videos, more gameplay videos. I'm still doing the gameplay videos because I can still do those. Um, mostly all, X well, pretty much they're all Xbox Ones currently because my, uh, HD PVR has stopped working, got wet, so. So pretty much all you're going to see now is, uh, Xbox One gameplays. But stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. And peace out.